Hi, my name is Michael and I'm from Kite Magic and I'm going to explain briefly in this series of how to put together one of our mini sprint kits. This is the short version of how to do it, so um, there's some others around to explain the whole thing in detail, but we're going to go through this fairly quickly about how to put this kit together. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the parts that we've selected from the, uh, from the mini sprint kit. I've laid them out on the table here, and so we've got the wheels, the axles, uh, the gears and the motors, some, uh, the switch and the solar panels, some wire, and of course the, uh, the chassis that we're going to, to mount everything on. So, uh, so we're now going to put all these bits together to end up with that, quick, that end product. Alright, so we've prepared a couple of things for this whole process, but let's start. The first thing is to put the wheels onto the chassis. This is the chassis. These are the, um, the axle collars, so we're going to place them inside the uh, core flute. So we turn the square holes into a round hole. So we put one on one side, follow across to the other side, and pop the axle. So that's going to be one set of axles. And the other axle at the other end of the car, we put these little collars in there so we're ready to go. So the chassis is ready. Now we're going to use our block set to help put the wheels together. So we pick up the, uh, the short axle for the uh, front wheels. Put the block on the end so we don't hurt our fingers. Push it onto a wheel. And then it's as simple as sliding the wheel through the core flute chassis. Twisting it to the other side. Taking the other small wheel and placing it on this side. So there's our, there's our front wheels done. Now to do the back wheels we need the two gears. So we'll start off with a small gear. Placing it on the block. Using our dowel push the small gear on to the axle, place the large gear on, push that on as well, and then we're going to select a wheel and we can push that onto the wheel. Push down hard to firmly seat it into the wheel, slide the wheel through to the other side and then place the wheel on this side. So if we push them in nice and firmly, we should end up now with our wheels spinning and our chassis ready to roll. Now, the next bits that we need to do is the motor. And on the end of the motor is a small pinion gear. There's a couple of different sizes. So if we place the pinion gear on the block and then push that onto the end of the motor. So when the motor spins, it's going to turn this small pinion gear and that in turn is going to turn the... the um, the axle of the wheels. So we place the motor mount onto the motor and that gives us much, a much bigger area now to be able to fix the motor. And onto the back of the motor mount we uh, peel off the double sided tape, place that onto the, to the motor. So that's now ready to place onto, uh, onto our car. We're going to need a, uh, a battery pack and also the switch as well. Now I've cut some um, some strips of wire here that are ready to go. So I've used a wire stripper to take the ends off the, uh, the wires and twisted those so they're ready to, uh, to, to feed onto our motor. So we're going to do this, uh, placing that onto the motor first, twisting the, oops, So, as you can see, it's a bit fiddly, small wires. Twisting that on nice and neatly so we don't end up with, uh, with wires being frayed. And we take this to the center section of the switch. Now, I would suggest you also <coughs> look at the instructions. And on the back of the instructions is a wiring diagram, which is important to be aware of. <coughs> Again, being careful here not to make sure that the wires are touching each other. And uh, to make one of the circuits, which is the battery one, we're now going to, uh, to place the battery one through the other side. And twist that on. <coughs> and, and now at some stage we're going to connect 
the other side for the solar panel. Now it's a really good idea to put some um, insulation tape on that to, uh, to avoid the wires all touching each other. So now we thread in the cable tie and I've actually burnt a couple of holes here which will allow me to fix this switch into place. So we'll tighten that up onto the switch. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're also going to peel off the double sided tape and mount the motor so it's nice and straight and the, the gears are meshing well with each other. Once they're in the right position, push that down so it, uh, it, it holds it in place. And of course, as the motor turns, it's going to turn that axle now. The battery pack has some double sided tape. that in position so it won't fall off. Press that down. And now to complete the circuit, so we've got the uh, the wiring going through the switch and through the battery pack, we then of course need to to mount the other side of the battery pack onto the other side of the motor. Just need the pair of pliers to grab hold of that. So the switch is a center off <coughs> one-way battery, one-way solar. So as we now have a complete circuit, when we turn the batteries on, of course what it's going to do is, um, is turn the car on. So that's one side of it. The next side is you'll need to uh, put the alligator clips on the end of the solar panels so we can join these together. And if we join them in series, we're going to connect this together and the panels will sit in the right place and we need to make them work through the, through the switch. So we're going to pick up one side of our panels. Oops, hang on, I've connected these incorrectly. Connecting them in series as the red and the black together. So we connect the panel to one side of the switch and we take the other one to this side of the motor. And if we use our piece of tape to hold the panels in place so they don't fall, and there we end up with an end product. It's a fairly quick way of showing you how to do it, but it gives you some idea of the steps that you need to do to get the, uh, the car to work.